Hey photography friend, how's it going? I'm Michael Selbel. I'm still here in Beijing, it's my last day, tomorrow I'm going to fly back to Germany, but today I still have one spontaneous shooting with a new model, Amelia. She just signed up for the model forum like three days ago and I thought she got a wonderful face for a couple of portraits and that's what we're going to shoot today, some crazy portraits. It will be very interesting, so keep on watching. This lighting setup will be all about flexibility. I didn't really plan the shooting. I, I know I just want to do a simple portrait, but there are so many variations. I don't know the model. I don't know whether her face is better from this side, from that side, uh, which means should I have my main light coming from the right or from the left. Uh, I don't know whether it's better to have her long, beautiful black hair open and probably place it in front of a black background or whether we should tie it up and um, place her in front of a bright white background. We will try out. I will try out um, and learn. And for that I need a really, really flexible setup. And this is what I'm going to do. I will, um, I will use two speed lights as my main light sources. This is, oh, this is speed light A. And I will have a sitting over here have the speed light a bit higher coming from this side. And like this. Just above the table. 45 degree angle. Speed light A. Same on the other side. Speed light B. Now the good thing with those two speed lights now is I can control from um, from the camera or from the uh, on camera flash I can control which one of those is my main light. I just have to dial one control and say the ratio is now two to one so two times the light from here one time the light from there then when I tell her to turn the nose toward this side I just Dial, um, dial it and then I have two times the light from here and just one time the light, fill in light from over there. So just one second to change the position of my main light. I will shoot from over there to over here. I need to fill in from below and for that I just put a simple white towel on top of the table. This will reflect a decent amount of light. Et voila, beauty light from all sides. Nothing can go wrong. ETTL, as I said, I just, even I can't mess it up. Good. Now the background. Um, over here I've got windows. Uh, I can let down the curtains. Then it's a ah, pretty much bright background, creamy bright one, which would need some more light to appear white. Or I want to have black. Black is very simple. I've got my big reflector. I can just... Uh, Put it over here and just put it over here, lean it against the chair. If I shoot from there, then now I've got a black background. Since she has got black hair and probably I will have her wearing a black hat, then I would need some headlight. And for that, I will use another little speed light hang it under the ceiling. I zoom it to, um, to 105 millimeters. So it's uh, emitting a very directed beam of light. I'll hang it this way around. Right over here. So it will just hit her head over here. In case I want to have the bright background, I just have to remove reflector turn this speed light around pull out the built-in diffuser so it zooms out to 14 millimeters now it's emitting a very broad cone of light to the whole wall to the whole window wall over there so if I now shoot her against the light then this will be brightened by this speed light. It's set to group C so I can control it again from the camera. Um, 
to brighten up the wall I would probably dial it to plus one overexpose the wall by one f-stop to uh, have delineation in the hair I would set it to minus three uh, to have just a little bit of light over here and uh, it's just a matter of two seconds to change the setup okay that's it now we can try out a lot of things within a few minutes let's do so There you have it. Just a little portrait shooting but with quite some variation. And um, the speed lights and especially the ETTL uh, element of the speed lights, it was quite helpful. It makes it a whole lot faster. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope you have fun with your shoots and I hope to see you soon. Until then, I wish you a good light. Bye bye.